He practically literally trips- runs. Yeah. He practically trips over his feet as he scurries away towards the exit, leaving Luke and I staring bemusedly after him. Musedly. There's a beat of silence. <laughs> <laughs> There's a beat of silence before Luke also stands up from his chair, gathering his belongings into his backpack. It's time for me to leave as well. Thank you for the hard work today. Wait! (laughs) (laughs) The reason falls out of my mouth before the thought even forms clearly into my head. Luke peeks up at me from behind his messy hair, falling into his eyes with a questioning look. Yes? I'll, I'll walk with you. His hands pause in their motions for a moment before he shrugs and slings his backpack across his shoulder. Sure, why not? Are you heading home now? Hurriedly sweeping my items into my bag, I rush over to him where I rush over to him where he's standing by the table waiting for me. Mm. I fall into step behind him and we walk out of the room together. Uh no, I I still have something else to do first. What about you? Yeah, I don't have any classes for the evening, so I guess I'll just head home now. So you live off campus? Are you from around here? No, I just share a rented apartment with a friend nearby. Right. I live in the dorms instead, you know, to save money. That is not saving money. No, that is... (laughs) Valerie, you're bad at college. (laughs) It probably wasn't a good idea to be honest with all of the people around all day. It's, you know, harder to ignore all of the strings floating everywhere. I'd probably end up with migraines every week. Still, this is the most affordable... No, it's not. I like that she said something about the strings... And I really hope that he noticed it. He's like, <laughs> she just low-key threw it in there. She did what I would do. Instead of pretending he doesn't know what I'm referring to, to my surprise, Luke simply frowns without a word. I open my mouth to ask him the question burning in my mind, but he beats me to speaking first, his voice a soft murmur. I ke- <laughs> Try keeping your eyes on the ground when you're walking past busy areas on campus. You'll probably already know that, but I find it helps. My footsteps slow for a second in my shock at Luke's open admission to the secret we share. He continues to walk on ahead, and I stumble after him, excitement bubbling in my chest. So you admit it. You can you can see the strings, too. How much do you know about them? Why are we the only ones who seem to be able to see the strings? Why can't we see our own? You know? You know? Are we connected, fam? <laughs> The questions spill out of my mouth one by one, but Luke keeps his gaze firmly ahead without a hint of acknowledgement that he even heard me. In this situation, I would be the person that walks in front of them and starts, like, walking backwards and is like, no, you're going to look at me and you're going (laughs) to answer my questions. Finally, the frustration at his uncooperative attitude explodes out of me in an angry yell. Hey, did you hear what I asked you? You're the first person I've met who's like me, you know? Do you know how difficult it, it's been all these years, unable to talk to anybody about what I can see, unable to ask anyone what's going on? Yes, yes I do. The least you can do is answer me, tell me what you know, you know? You know? <laughs> Luke also stops walking and he turns to look at me fully. There's a strange pain in his blazing eyes that almost makes me stumble a step back. Why do you even want to know? If you're smart, you'll learn to ignore their presence and pretend you can see nothing of the, out of the ordinary. Trust me, it's better that way. What do you mean by that? I I don't believe that. If we can see the red strings of fate, there must be a reason. Oh, he's gone. I'm out. Don't talk to me. <laughs> Luke simply shakes his head and pushes the exit doors open, walking away from me without another glance backwards. He's swallowed up by the crowd in an instant, but the memory of the burning emotion in his eyes refuses to leave my mind for a long, long time after we part. I keep my eyes firmly on the screen of my laptop in front of me, refusing to give in to the urge to peek at Luke, who's sitting on the opposite side of the table. The silence between us drags on, and the tension is so thick that it, I could cut it with a knife. Where in the world is Aaron? He's late. I didn't peg He's a talking str- to a girl. <laughs> I didn't peg a straight-A nerd like him for someone who would be, you know, late to a project meeting. How dare he leave me alone with Luke like this? I haven't spoken to Luke again since the last time we met at the library for a group meeting, and it's clear the conversation is still at the front of our minds from the way we're avoiding each other's eyes like the plague. <laughs> I swallow, start a new document on my laptop, and begin typing away at, a rand- at, at random. I am pretending to write something down. <laughs> just to appear preoccupied. Slowly, my random typing turns into something more meaningful. I find myself opening the document containing my travel plans and begin adding more notes to my file. I can't wait until I can stop this planning and just hop on a plane and travel to Asia to look for him. Oh, yep. Apparently we're definitely not in Asia. Nope. For the thousandth time, I find myself wondering what he looks like. My soulmate, you know. And which country he's in. 
he must be far away if my string is so faint that it's practically invisible to my eyes, right? <laughs> I like that her immediate thought is he's in Asia, though. <laughs> I know, right? He must be Asian. <laughs> definitely not African. Definitely not from anywhere in Europe. He's Asian. He's Asian. <laughs> you know, girl, same. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for that string to, to come walking my way, too. You know? Right. <laughs> my K-pop friends, where you at? <laughs> <laughs> searches with Pinky. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm late. I'm here now. Have you been waiting a long time? Hey, Aaron. Jerking out of my thoughts, I slam my laptop shut reflexively and look up to see a panting Aaron sliding into a chair at the table. <sighs> Aaron? There you are. God, you're almost half an hour late. Where have you been? I'm so sorry, but wait, listen. First, I have something very important to tell you. I'm going on a date. Pretty much. I narrow my eyes at him as... Pra as he practically vibrates in his seat from excitement and pulls something out of his pocket to show me. I got, what? We, we got invited to Irene's birthday party this weekend. Can you believe that? Who? Aaron looks positively horrified at my question. The junior, fashion major, beautiful strawberry blonde hair and the clearest sea blue eyes, Brooklyn. She's like <laughs> one of the most popular girls here. Oh. Her. Definitely not Brooklyn if you're reacting like that. Yes, her. She's invited us to the party she's holding next weekend. All three of us. Unable to share his enthusiasm, I frowned in confusion. Why? How do you even know her? Did you know she's in the same general classes as us? I didn't either, but last week she came up to me asking for help on the essay she was stuck on. We exchanged numbers and we've been texting sometimes. She ended up sending me a party invite to show a gratitude for all my help. Aaron beams, positively glowing from this development of events. Before I can reply, Aaron continues, leaning back in his chair with a proud expression. I know, I know. You don't have to thank me. We're going to have a great time this weekend. We're not going. <laughs> we're going. We? Who says we're going? Well, at least I'm assuming Luke shares my view and doesn't really see the appeal of this party. Aaron and I both look over at Luke expectantly, and he merely gives a small shrug. I'm not into parties in general. Well, there we go. You can go by yourself, Aaron. Aww. At that, Aaron almost falls out of his chair and his lips slip into a pout. No. no. <laughs> a small mochi rice ball. <laughs> Val, you can't. I'll be a pathetic loser arriving at a party all alone while everyone there comes with their friends or their significant others. You can't leave me like that. Others, plural. Significant others. <laughs> Polygamy. Everyone here's a polygamist. Utah, 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 <laughs> Idaho, Utah, 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 polygamy, Utah. <laughs> <laughs> Did I tell you that story? No. Oh. <laughs> it was just Caleb at work. He was trying to remember the, the like, Utah County sign, the, like, Bieber, Carvin, Davis, Morgan, Daggett, Miller, and Duchesne, you know. And he was like, how does that go? I was like, uh, it goes kind of like this. And then he goes, oh, so like, Utah, 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 Idaho, Utah, 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 polygamy. Utah. And like, I, I started busting a gut. And so now we just, like, sometimes I'll just walk back there and start singing it to him. And, and he'll just start clapping and uh, polygamy, Utah, polygamy. Utah, Utah. And we just, it's a fun time. Now you know the Utah polygamy Idaho song. If that's what it's called, I guess. Uh, yeah. You can't leave me like that. Why not? I can, hardly, sad. <laughs> I can hardly bite back a smile at Aaron's dramatic, horrified speech. And I'm trying to make myself comfortable again. you <laughs> Savage. You'll what live. a savage. Aaron's eyes widen comically. Right here. And he clasps his hands together. No, you can't do that to me. It's going to be my first party. You know, don't ruin it for me, please. Oh, I'm, I'm ruining it for you. I'm, I'm not, not even close going. enough with anyone else but the two of you to invite them to a party like this. Out of the blue, please, Val, I'm begging you. This is my one and only chance. But don't you think if you show up with a girl, people might get the wrong idea True. and then you won't get to flirt with anyone? Right. Aaron gives me his best attempt at puppy dog eyes. I'm falling for it. And I have to admit, for a second, I almost cave in instantly. Same. Luke, save me. My mouse just died. It's back. <laughs> I don't go to parties. I'll just stay in and work on the project a bit more. He hesitates before continuing somewhat reluctantly. You're welcome to join me if you like. We probably have to catch up on Aaron's progress anyway. 
Luke, bro, you can't do that to me. You're supposed to have my back as my bro. You're supposed to be my wingman, my second ink man, the cleric to my warrior. You have talked and the support to my carry twice. Twice. What? They have spoken twice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, yeah, I know. But he's my homeboy. But he's my homeboy. Homeboy help. <laughs> I can't help but laugh at that, shaking my head at Aaron. Luke just looks, you know, baffled by his passionate declaration, which only heightens my amusement because they've spoken twice. <laughs> Aaron really is such a nerd. Valerie, please. You're my last hope. Subtle Star Wars reference. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. Okay, whose route do we want to go on? <laughs> That's the question, I guess. Uh, I kind of, now that we're here, I kind of want to go with Luke, just because I'm already really curious, even though I initially freaking love Aaron. What a little mochi ball. I just want to squeeze his little cheeks. I can't. You choose. Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, make him pay. $50 every day. My mom said to pick the very best one, and you are it. A uh, Aaron. Okay. Okay, we're going to the party. <laughs> And now I'm Party, kind of sad, actually. <laughs> well, then we should go back. No, it's fine. It's fine. We'll play both. We'll it's do fine. both. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> Is sad. I'm sad, but also really excited. He He's so cute. In the end, it's the gleam of real desperation in his eyes that convinces me. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> probably hasn't had much chance to socialize and party with friends in high school, you know, when he was so busy being a nerd. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it probably didn't help that he was labeled a giant nerd. <laughs> We're going to state it twice to really get the point across. I generally kept to myself. He glowed up a little bit yeah. with his, what is that, Naruto hair? Uh, not even that. What is, like, <laughs> it's like Dragon Ball Z something? I don't know. Who knows? It's a fun time. I generally, lion hair. His lion hair over there. It, he, he reminds, it reminds me of, uh, of Haru from Fruits Basket. <laughs> you know, had the different color, like, layers of hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, How are you going to convince me that that's your natural hair color? <laughs> Watch well, fr Fruits Basket, kids. Well. <laughs> I generally kept to myself in high school, but even I'm aware of his reputation as a geek, which I'm sure does not translate into popularity. I don't know. If he's a hipster, <laughs> we never know these days. That's true. This is probably a really new and important experience for him. Yes. I must be the mother. <laughs> I, I can't let him down. You're right. So I sigh and nod reluctantly. Fine, you win. I'll go with you, I guess. Yes! Yes! He grabs my hand in his elation, startling me. Elation? That's a... That's a why do these always use big words that I don't know? <laughs> I, I know them. Yeah, but I don't. I am not an English major. Thank you. You're the best, Valerie. Thank you. You'll have the time of your life at this party, I swear. I'll pick you up from your dorm room at 6 on Saturday, okay? You know Casual dorms. dress code. Just wear whatever. How do you know I live in the dorms? Because I watch you. Oh, okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, Aaron <laughs> stares at me in earnest, his gratitude and excitement written all over his face. To my surprise, I can feel a slight blush rising in my cheeks, and I hastily pull my hands away. Uh, well, you better not be late. Got it? Now, can we go back to the topic at hand that we actually met to discuss, you know? Oh, r right. Yes, you're right. Of course, I'm sorry. He flashes me another giddy smile before calming himself with a deep breath. His expression grows solemn, and he turns on his laptop. Let's get started, then. We should probably pick up where we left off last time and discuss the division of labor first. What, are, what did know. we pick? <laughs> with the that, division of labor? <laughs> with that, the project meeting officially begins, and the matter of the party leaves my mind for the time being. It certainly isn't my usual scene, but I don't know, maybe it'll be a good experience for both of us, who knows. It's college, after all, time to, you know, try something new for once, but if anybody flirts with me, I swear to God. 